Had love with Pat's two cents. I don't know why I can't get off of this. Some of you in these last days are going to have traps laid for you that will look so beautiful and so inviting. Even some of you very elect will be fooled. You have got to stay prayerful and watchful. I'm not talking about praying four or five hours a day. I'm talking, you cover yourself. <coughs> God, don't let me be fooled. Open my eyes. Let me see a snake for what it is. Let me recognize what I'm looking at. Give me discernment. Heighten my discernment ability. In the name of Jesus. Give me all kind of 360 degree vision. X-ray vision. All kind of vision. Help me know what I'm dealing with. See. One thing that you will find. As a married man. You may be, your marriage might be having some, some strenuous moments. And you may find yourself in a bit of an emotional quandary. But, you're not at the point of divorce. You're just kind of turned off temporarily. That happens through marriage. And you got to pray over that. You got to pray for more love. That's the basic thing you got to pray for, more love. Now. While you're going through this, Satan has a way of introducing you to what you think you really like looking at. And all of a sudden, you've got a sympathetic ear. Oh, my, my, my. Tender-hearted, understanding, sympathetic, and sexy. Well... Don't. You go to one of your buddies if you need a human being's ear to talk to. You leave that little soft ear alone before you find yourself not only talking to it, but nibbling at it. You're a married man. Avoid every tendency. The Bible says avoid all appearance of evil. I say on top of that, avoid every opportunity because a counseling session with the opposite sex can be a grand opportunity if they are appealing to your eye. For women, because we operate out of emotion. If you are in a marriage where you're not getting the affection, you're not getting the, the approval, whatever it is you think you need from that man, you're not getting the time, the conversation, the romance, the sex, whatever, and you find yourself being very needy, when it comes to women, Women can be like vacuums. I don't care how dirty or how nasty the item is. If that vacuum runs over it, it's going to suck it up. And you can be dealing with a slimy snake and know it. But because you are emotionally vacuumed inside, you find yourself sucking that garbage up. Watch your step. I'm telling you the traps that are going to be laid, we have all got to be very careful. I've got to be very careful. I'm single and a widow. I've got to really watch my, I pray over myself. Now you guys may think you got good sense. I don't. I get all my sense from God. And if I don't consult with God, I get stuck on stupid real quick. So I don't trust myself and neither should you. We all have to pray that God keeps us, keeps us in his perfect will, in the center of his will, that God does not allow us to get distracted, that he warns us way in advance. So when we see it coming, we're like, oh yeah, that's what he was talking about. 
and you will have a mind of Christ to handle it God's way. Be wise, be careful, be watchful, be prayerful, be obedient. God bless you.